We like to do at this time a song that my brother wrote. This is this is original song my brother wrote five years ago. My brother wrote this song in a fit of creative passion and genius. My brother wrote this song. And it was we only performed it, my brother and myself, only three times. We performed this song three times and it was immediately stolen from us by this other commercial stolen. crass was stolen from us by this other commercial crass group that stole the song they never acknowledged. Now, Tommy, don't they go just into stole that. the song no, from my younger Tom, brother. Don't go into that. It's, it's just embarrassing to say there's that. A, they're adults entitled now. Oh. <laughs> they stole the song from along my brother with my along with his luggage. Right. <laughs> and they, ne they put it on one of the major record companies. They never once... Ag they, and it sold over three million records. My brother's song that he wrote and they never acknowledged it. As a result, it sold over three million records and as a result... Pay attention. As a result, every time we perform my own brother's song that he wrote in his creative effort and genius re responsible, every time we perform this, his own song, we've been ridiculed. And persecuted. And persecuted. We've been ridiculed and persecuted every time we perform this song that people will come up and say, I heard your show and uh, you stole that song from that other commercial crash group. You just stole that song. <laughs> So we're going to ridicule you and prosecute you. <laughs> Persecute you. So I'd like to take this time to set the record straight as my brother's be deprived of, depraved of the one... <laughs> you were right the first time. He was depraved of this opportunity of having the, for posterity to understand and enjoy. He's been... I'd like to publicly dedicate the performance of this song to no. my younger brother for his creative effort and no. genius in writing no, this song. you don't have to I'm do that. I'm going to, Dickie. Oh. I'd like to publicly dedicate to you, Dickie Smothers, the, the creative effort and genius responsible for the song. I'd like to publicly dedicate to you at this time. Thanks. Swell. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we'd like to perform it for you now, and I'm sure you've all heard the song many times before, but we'd like to do it for you in the original first time, the first time way no, in the you mean, original. You mean the first virgin time. edition? The what? I said, you mean the virgin edition. We, we'll sing it in the virgin edition. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, come on. Edition, I don't know what it means. Edition, all right. We'd like to do it to original virgin. No, sing. <coughs> sing. Ready? I'm ready. Throughout history, there's been the story of the internal triangle. Eternal triangle. This particular internal triangle concerned a condemned man named Tom Crudley, a man named Jason, and another man named Sally Jean Johnson. <laughs> hey, now cut that out. 